first be careful. Be careful. Yeah, we can yeah. start. Alright. <laughs> Let's show our faces. <laughs> our faces. <laughs> All right. mm -hmm. Historical moment. Yeah, tremendous. Yes, it is. I'm very glad that we can, can, can come together here for the first step, what we will become a maintenance hub um, for our leopards which we provided to, to you Alexei and thank you for your hospitality in Poland it's a pleasure and honor and it's very very good to, to see uh, our, our past uh, proceeding because it's very very important the sustainability of what we delivered we have to maintain we have to repair we have to take care of all that material which you need daily German and with Ukraine so it, it's good uh, information and that's the first step, but the second step has to be, has to be follow up, has to follow up, because now we need the support of all our colleagues mm -hmm. to help with the financing. Of all. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's put together many nations, different capacities in different models of the of the. And we will discuss even more on on the on the ammunition. Uh, it's it's a kind of the concern for the for the Europe and also globally uh, uh, in a given situation where actually the consumption of the conventional ammunition is so huge. And and I, I think it's it's kind of the. Uh, war in Ukraine is kind of the wake-up call for, for Europe in that regard as well. The stockpiles are too low, our industries are not anymore able to, to produce the capacity we need if we face a conventional threat. It's a mechanized component and element of our forces. My minister was not able to come because uh, he has become a lame duck. We had actually elections three months ago and, and there's a new government, uh, you know, progressing, they have not been started at negotiations, but he feels that he is not anymore uh, so much engaged and, and therefore I'm here. Uh, given that the, uh, it's quite a complex to put 